A warrant has been issued for Rasheed Rice on six counts relating to the hit and run accident six car pileup on the freeway not too long ago. Warrant has been issued for Rasheed Rice. File on in. Let's discuss this. And I'm digesting it as it happens. You guys know I go live when news breaks. So sometimes I don't even have <laughs> much information. Uh, I go live. We talk about it. We start breaking it down. Uh, warrant been issued for Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice. His uh, his season is now in a lot more jeopardy than a lot of people suggested. Um, we thought one to four game suspension was in the cards. We have had attorneys come on this this channel to talk about this kind of thing and what is what is he looking like? Uh, what's it looking like? A plea? Is he going to plea out to a, a small misdemeanor and skate off this thing? Uh, but then they found. Uh, there was substance, uh, some substance of uh, weed in his car. Then there was a playbook in his car. He was admit, he admitted driving the Lamborghini that caused all the entire accident. That is the, the vehicle that did cause the trigger effect of, of crashing in six car pileup. There was injuries, but they were minor. There was a child and a mother. Um, all the injuries were minor. So a lot of people thought this guy was going to skate on this, but. This could this could have just taken a turn. The fantasy football show begins now. Live from the fantasyfootballshow.com studios. It's the fantasy football show. Live Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Smitty is also live whenever news breaks. From the fantasyfootballshow.com news desk. Here is your breaking news. Six counts is what Rishi Rice is looking at. Warrant issued for Rishi Rice in connection to the six-car pileup. Um, this is not looking good. There's there's not a lot to go on right now um, other than that this thing just took a, a step up in the wrong direction for Rice. So tough to know how this is going to all shake out but according to all these reports here issue warrant has been issued for kc chief wide receiver dallas police charge chiefs wide receiver in a crash um six counts looking at fifth, six counts a war issue a warrant issued for rice um he faces six counts there's not a lot of details right now on what we're looking at here's another one from ari um, from my sports update in total Rasheed Rice faces up to eight not six charges in a case six counts of uh, collision involving bodily injury one count of collision involving serious bodily injury and one count of aggravated assault so it looks like they're looking at this as more of a, a an assault aggressive driving you know, type of situation, not just causing a scene, walking away and having some misdemeanors to look at. This is probably going to go in a, a little bit more aggressive uh, approach. And this new this new count here, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, there was reportedly no severe injuries. Um, as our attorney, Brandon, came on and talked about that, he said he wouldn't be shocked if one of the injuries turned into something more serious. And that's the nature of some of these these situations, right? So we'll have to we'll have to wait this out. Um, warrant been issued. Yeah, I don't see anything new. There's there's nothing here other than this newest report, which is is probably the the only thing I don't have on screen right here. That there's eight counts, not six counts. This coming from uh, my sports update. Let me just throw this up here right now. Rasheed Rice. Um, I don't, I don't know what to think, guys. I, it feels like everyone's saying he's cooked, he's done. I don't know. We've seen these things go in a, a certain direction, get dialed back, go in a certain direction, get dialed back, but pretty sure that this is not going in the direction that Rasheed Rice wants. Here's that report right here. He faces eight, not six counts. Everybody's saying six counts. This report says eight. Uh, six counts of collision involving bodily injury, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, and one count of aggravated assault uh, with the vehicle, obviously. Um, look, everyone's saying he's taken responsibility to the best of his his, his ability now. Um, only nine thumbs up when we got 140 people in here. Hit that thumb up button. 
if you could. This guy, in the coward fashion, walked away from a crash and didn't help or assist anybody. He didn't even know how injured anybody was. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like th these guys, his entourage and him, the car full, the Lamborghini full of, of, of gentlemen. I say gentlemen and I, I don't really mean it. The Corvette uh, that had, had, I don't know how many people in there. As soon as these vehicles crashed, all, all of the, the individuals in both of these vehicles that were owned or leased by Rice, he leased the Lamborghini, he owned the Corvette. Everybody in those two vehicles, entourage of four or five guys, they immediately get out. The car's almost still rolling. And they immediately get out, get their stuff. One witness said, allegedly, they had weapons that they were pulling out of the car. Rice reportedly slid out across the middle console and came out the other door. I don't know if that was to try and show he wasn't driving. I don't know if the door was damaged and he couldn't open it. Um, but... These guys in coward fashion, cowardice fashion, walk off the freeway immediately. Cause a six car pileup, don't know if anybody was gonna gonna be in trouble. Like, was there leaking gasoline? Did someone need to be pried out of, out of a vehicle? These guys just walk away like cowards. Walk off the freeway. And do you know what Rice did immediately when he walked off the freeway? He picked up his phone. Oh, great. He did call somebody. No, he didn't. He texted the Lambo company and said, I crashed the Lambo. I'll pay for it. I'm sorry. That was it. He didn't call the police. He didn't call an ambulance. He didn't call for help for the, the four other vehicles that were demolished and destroyed in the six car drag racing pileup that, that was caused by the Lamborghini, which Rice was driving. Some people come in and trying to defend them, and they don't even know what they're talking about. Smitty, the Corvette swerved into the Lamborghini, therefore he's not even at fault. How many how many leagues do you own Rasheed Rice in, Bob? Like, you should be ashamed of yourself if you defend Rasheed Rice. Ashamed of yourself. Your mother's ashamed of you if you're defending Rasheed Rice. She is. She told me. Stop defending players that, that do this kind of thing. And for him to walk off the freeway, him and all of his buddies, not one of them thought, let's go check on those people. They cared about themselves and themselves alone. I wonder if Rasheed Rice even plays at all in 2024, let alone we can talk about again. The fact that no one was severely injured to the point of of death or or you know and we don't know maybe something comes out to where there was somebody that was severely injured and for some reason we just didn't get that proper information then he's in some major trouble this this escalates that might be why this escalated but like brandon said baked and boys our attorney that called in on this the last time we talked about it one of these minor injuries could turn into a major injury that's the, the nature of, of things like this. And it sounds like that's what probably happened. Now that there's a serious injury being reported, it becomes a bigger deal. Which, in my mind, and I don't mean to belittle, or, or, or I don't mean to make light of that there was no injury or say that you know we need injuries for, for this to be important or anything like that. But I, I don't understand why... A serious injury or the threat of a serious injury and just thank God it was minor makes a difference in my opinion. Like I, I get if someone died, it's a whole different charge and everything. There's manslaughter, involuntary manslaughter charges if someone were to get killed and I get all that. But you're telling me that a, a major injury needs to be required for this guy to not skate and walk off of a minor misdemeanor and have the NFL just slap his hand? Like a severe injury needs to be required for this to be a big deal that he, he he ran away from the scene of an accident so that what, he could clear his system out? Speculation on my part, but I think it's pretty educated guessing given the reports that this drag racing incident, this six car pileup occurred immediately after leaving a club slash bar where they were celebrating. So you put it together. 
You put it together. You're celebrating at a bar slash restaurant. You're drag racing away from said restaurant. You get on the freeway, cause a six par a six car pileup, and run away from the scene without a, a single care in the world for the individuals you just piled up in, a, in, in the other four cars. Oh yeah, I'm going to believe that you're not trying to run away to clear your system out. Stop defending Rasheed Rice. It's a very bad look for whoever's trying to do it. My phone line's here if you want to dial in and defend him. Because I would gladly talk to you. I don't understand why anybody defends Rasheed Rice. Why are you defending him? Probably shouldn't play at all in 2024. I don't think he should play. Read my lips. I don't think Rasheed Rice should play a single snap in 2024. How do you like that? This guy doesn't deserve to play a single snap in the NFL. He And if he does, he's going to be so wrapped up inside his head mentally, he'll be tied up in knots. I'm not going, as I said earlier, you got to be crazy. You got to be crazy to draft this guy in even the third round in fantasy right now. I think this news plummets him into the fifth or sixth round. There will be a bob or two that are like, this is a great value. I think he's going to walk, and he might, but that's not how you should approach it because this thing's going in the wrong direction. This thing just took a big fat turn to issue a warrant on eight counts, two of which... Are, are way more severe than the other six. You've got six counts that you could, if there was no serious injury, pile up into a, this is going to get tossed into a, a plea deal, and he's going to walk. It's going to be like attempted disturbance of the peace, driving an automobile misdemeanor, 30 hours of community service at your leisure, and Roger Goodell says, bad boy, bad boy. Those are what the six counts that we're talking about here. Six counts over on this screen here. Six counts of collision involving bodily injury. The one count of collision involving serious bodily injury and the one count of aggravated assault are what leveled this up into a warrant. And now this man's looking at a much different picture and potential outcome. Rice is not worth even a top five round player. Rice doesn't deserve to be a top five round player. Rice pretty much threw his, his uh, season away. And you know who benefits from this? The hardworking man that's on our midseason monster list that, good God, he's midseason monster. He's probably going to be doing it from, from the jump in week one, but I'm glad he's on the list. We've got him documented sitting there, and his name is Hollywood Brown. Look at him. Look at him. Him, next to Braylon Allen, next to Malachi Corley, next to the still sleeper, free cost of entry, Tajay Spears because of the presence of Tony Pollard. Hollywood Brown just got a huge vault in value. Now the problem here with Hollywood is that everyone and their mother is going to go after him. And I don't know if he climbs way too high. I don't know that I'd even buy him anymore. But all I know is he's a mid-season monster, and I'm glad he's on that list sitting there fermenting, becoming an absolute legend. Mid-season monster legend looking looking at you right there saying, watch me, watch me, I'm out there. He's on the run too, on the field. He's been running around on the field. Rice has been running around and running away on the freeway like a coward, and Hollywood's been on the field running around in circles catching footballs from Patrick Mahomes. Get ready. Get ready. Hollywood, 1,100 yards and 11 TDs, says Jeff Life. Rice was charged with one count of aggravated assault and one count. Yeah, we got it on screen, Space Ricky. It's all right here, my guy. That's correct. There's eight counts. Eight counts, not six. Six was the originating uh, report. Now it's eight. And it's the, the serious bodily injury and the aggravated assault that are going to potentially do him in for at least a 2024 season. Uh, maybe he still only misses half a year, but these two chargers that they've added, the two of the new 
charges. So six counts and then the two new that make it eight. Um, these are the ones that are going to potentially be pretty, pretty serious. Uh, warrant issue for Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice. Uh, Dallas police charge uh, charge Chiefs wide receiver and crash. Um, nothing else new on this. Just people reporting it like mad like we are. But we're the only ones live. Because that's how we do it. When news breaks, we go live. Sometimes I don't even have much information. But we still go live. Sometimes you and I digest it together. And we go live. But I want every one of you to know, especially if you're new. And I don't know why we only have 39 thumbs up when we have over 256 people in here. Some total. Um, 81 on Twitter. 175 on YouTube. And we have 39 thumbs up. I want you to know if you're new, you need to subscribe, number one. Because I'm the only channel that goes live when news breaks. We go live when news breaks. We break it down. Sometimes we go live on a, on a rumor and we shoot it down. Sometimes we go live on a rumor and we say, this, this looks like it could be potentially have some legs to it, but let's be careful. And sometimes we go live and say, we concur, young man. And this particular case, it's just news we're trying to digest together. And all I know is this man's not looking good. He's not looking good. There was... There were drugs in the vehicle, which were a small amount. It was originally reported to be big, a big amount. And then it came out that it was just grams and not ounces. And people got all their, their pennies in a bunch saying, this isn't that much. It isn't that much. It's a sum total of, of all of this stuff piling up. Like, this is not a good look for him. Roger Goodell is definitely going to uh, probably take a little action. This might be one of those situations where he gets put on the paid exempt list because the 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 NFL does like to wait until the legal process plays out, right? But they can certainly do that by putting the, the player on paid leave and then once this becomes an issue, then they don't obviously pay you and they put you on the exempt list like Roger Goodell has done in the past, but they can certainly put him on the exempt list paid uh, as a reaction. But I don't know that they will. Uh, will the Chiefs maybe make a statement? The Chiefs have been in some bad light for a while. Andy Reid had a similar situation. No one's trying to make excuses for one person and not the other. Uh, you, it, people make assumptions like, Smitty, I don't hear you talking about Andy Reid. Well, maybe you should watch a little more. I don't, I don't think any of these cases should be overlooked. I don't think the NFL should overlook anything. I'm not saying Andy Reid should be held accountable for what his son, but his son or whatever get, gets off this or that. Like, I'm not condoning anything of that nature. But maybe KC needs to do something. Maybe KC needs to say, we need to step up and and, and do something about this and, and, and show a little, a little uh, I don't know, support for the, the, uh, the, the, the way you should behave. Uh, this happened in Texas, correct? Yes, it did, Matto. It was in Texas. It was in Dallas. Goodell will be fine. We'll fine him and suspend him for one or two games his prime. It depends, bro. We're not even close to that. We can't even make a determination on that. Smitty ain't be rolling up if he thinks a few grams is going to get him more. Did you hear me say that a few grams was getting him anything, Ty Lee? Ty Lee, I don't think you pay attention much. I don't think you even watch the show, to be honest with you. I think you just start typing with, the, with it on mute. I don't know if you have the captions on. Sometimes the captions don't actually uh, accurately depict what a person's saying. Um, but I don't think you understand what's going on because your comments don't make any sense. At first, I thought one or two games. Now, I'm thinking eight, says Jeff Life. I think, yeah, half a season. Like, like we're we're very, very early on. We have no clue what the NFL is going to do. The NFL reacts once the criminal piece is, is concluded. That is the nature of the, the, the new, the NFLPA and the league and the players negotiated in different ways of handling this kind of stuff. And the current setup in the NFL is to let the legal process play out before the NFL really takes action. However, they can do whatever they want. Roger Goodell can really do whatever he wants. If he wants to put him on paid leave, 
That is not punishing him. They're still paying him. Nobody cares about the marijuana. It was just the guns and alcohol to be worried about. It says turn turn up. Uh, it, there's a sum total of, of of something going on here that is going to be looked at. The sum total of everything, you know, it, it's it's not a good look. It's about there's there's a certain amount of optics involved too. League tries to make an example of him. I don't know, uh, 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 Jack. I don't know. I don't know if the league, the league is so heavy-handed one minute and not the other. Had this guy had, you know, maybe a woman's basketball or a woman's volleyball bet ticket in his car, he'd be done for two or three years. <laughs> you know what I mean? If he had gambled on the, the, the very corner of the NFL property, had he gone to the team shop and placed a, a men's uh, croquet uh, 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 bet, had he gone to the men's team shop and and, and based a uh, uh, and put a wrestling bet down on the rock, and he was in the team shop, he'd be dubbed for two or three years. I don't know what Roger Goodell and the NFL will do, but we do know that this could linger. There is, I want everybody to understand, there's a chance that he plays 2024 and this happens in 2025, like Camara. There's that. Uh, there's that chance, but I don't know if this is going to get dragged out long. This. Keep in mind that that these situations, sometimes it's better to expedite them. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes the player doesn't want to drag it out because they want to get their career going. If if in the case of Rasheed Rice, he's young. The longer he waits, the, the more his window is going to close. If he has a really bad year, then misses 2025, then he's going to be looking at probably never putting his career back together. If he takes his lumps now suffers an eight game suspension let's say or a 10 game suspension and still plays this year and can put it all behind him by december he can still revive everything so it really depends on his camp and his legal team and everything whether they want to drag this thing out like camara dragged his out you know it, it, it just really really depends there's no formula here everything's case by case the nfl is going to typically wait to react until the legal process is played out hence why he could potentially play 2024 the, the chiefs could say we're not we're not doing anything until the, the league reacts or the chiefs could say you know what we're gonna do something just to prove a point you're suspended like we don't know we don't know there's really no recipe for this and and there's no way to really accurately 100 percent predict what's going to happen i will say that traditionally historically players skate on this more times than they don't historically what feels like a, a eight game to a one-year suspension when news breaks ends up being two to four games historically the six or eight charges end up being a, a plea of two very very differently uh, worded and and soft looking charges um could a plea could a plea involved money to pay for the medical costs civil is when you go after somebody for uh, uh, money that's not included in like the medical, um, but civil is all about the money, and criminal can include a lot of damages and things that that maybe make this plea deal acceptable to the prosecution. There's a lot that can go down that this thing could still get pleaded out to a very minor amount, and it comes down to does the prosecution want to accept a very small limited plea deal, and the defendants of this may potentially want that because it involves them getting a big fat check for their medical and damages so we'll see you also got to wonder how much money does Rasheed Rice have because he's still he's still on his rookie deal and while he gets paid a decent amount according to the you know in comparison to the average layman he's not like sitting there on a 20 million dollar guaranteed deal he's on a rookie deal and he's probably uh this is just a guess but probably spent a lot of it already smitty that's not fair you're making an assumption he had a lamborghini and a corvette that he totaled and walked away and left on the freeway <laughs> you tell you tell me how dumb i sound 
by making an assumption that this guy probably spends his money pretty quickly. So to assume he's got even a big nest egg of that, I doubt it. I doubt it. Hollywood Brown is going to the moon. To the moon. Potentially this year. You walk away from the scene of a crime like this when people are injured and m maybe need your help, you're, you're, you're acting like a coward. Uh, he will get yeah, future earnings potentially, Sir Lax. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot that could go down. Rice should have been left. Should have left the country, says Frank. Frank. I think he wants to play ball again, though, Frank. I don't know that that's going to work out too well. Raiders fans need extra batteries. Says Paul. Uh, Mahomes resurrects. Either way, you get paid really good money and do dumb things. You're asking for trouble. Rice has himself to blame, says Ray G. Odell is washed. Yeah, I know everyone's saying Odell to KC. Odell's not got left. Nothing left. He's got nothing left. I mean, that doesn't mean it won't happen, but I say at least double secret probation. The way they ran off without a care was pretty disgusting. It was. It was. And Jeff, life, that's a pretty good word to use. Disgusting. R Rasheed Rice's actions and his buddy's actions were disgusting. Putrid. Not human, not compassionate, flat out disgusting, cowardice. And, and honestly, it's it's shocking when people defend him. Shocking when people defend him. Donnie says Casey's drafting a wide receiver now. I don't disagree with you, my guy. I think this number 32 overall pick all of a sudden becomes Leggett, Malachi Corley, uh, Ricky Parasol, Lad McConkey. He might go earlier than that, but but yeah, yeah, my guy. I mean, Casey's going to definitely be looking to, to fill that wide receiver room now. Hollywood Brown, boom, stock is up. Rookie wide receiver going to Casey, likelihood is up. Rasheed Rice missing at least a half a season or more likelihood just went up. Rasheed Rice's stock overall. Stock on decline. Hollywood Brown. Stock on the rise. Calvin Krim. Casey and Buffalo about to fight for Brian Thomas Jr. Yes, Calvin. I like the way you think. Smitty approved. You just... Yo, so theory, uh, in theory, speaking on how long Rice going to be in jail for, obviously he should face some time for his disgusting actions, says QB. I don't know, QB1, if he's going to jail. I don't think that... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, should he for walking away from the scene of a crime like that? I mean, you or I would be in a cell for 30 days at a minimum, and we, we'd feel pretty fortunate if we ran away... Probably with substance in our bodies because that's why he ran. Why else would you run? Unless you're just being disgusting, which is still disgusting to run. Rice might, might not see the field until 2025, says Hector. I don't disagree that that's a possibility. All these are, are possible. The only reason I'm even being a little hesitant on him missing the entirety of the 2024 NFL season is because we've seen this play out before. Alvin Kamara, that video footage came out. We thought he was toast, and he wasn't. Alvin Kamara missed just a handful of games <laughs> and pleaded down to a disturbing of the peace type charge. So really nothing shocks me at this point. Really, really doesn't shock me. Uh, Cap for Life says, minimum 30 days, bro, no credit time served. Uh, let's hope, let's hope. To be honest with you, 
you cause a a, a, a six-car pileup and leave people injured in the car. It doesn't matter if they weren't serious. You didn't know that. You probably should, should sit in a cell for a little while to think about your actions. Uh, Timothy, is this the first defender we've seen in the chat? All you bums care more about fantasy football than your freedoms. Timothy, what are you talking about? Well, the majority of this conversation is about how disgusting Rasheed Rice's behavior was and that he walked off the freeway and left injured people in a vehicle. Timothy, that's what we're talking about. I'm not talking as much about fantasy as I could be right now. Right now we're talking about a disgusting behavior from a two cars full of individuals that left people on the freeway. So, Timothy, I don't know what you're talking about. You can call us bums all you want, but we're we're defending the injured in this situation, Timothy. George says he's done. His lawyer is a senator in Texas. We'll see. Soon as I heard, I came here to see what you'd say. Thank you, uh, uh, Dante. That's what we do here. Take a lap if you're take a lap. Are you kidding me? Says Jeff. Jeff wants to send. Uh, what's his name? Was it Timothy on a lap? Make Rice pick up garbage. I mean, yeah, he should be for minimum of 90 days. It's about the injured bro, says Cap for life. What's up? You're live on the Fantasy Football Show. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, well, it wasn't a large injury or something like that. I was involved in an incident where I was injured pretty good, had to get care flighted out over to the hospital. And it was it was tough dealing with, well, it could, at least you didn't die. At least it could have been worse, you know, all this sort of stuff. You can't, you can't itemize and you can't uh, quantify how much injury someone had. The thing is, he made the, he caused the wreck he hightailed it out of there. He's got a lot of legal problems with him. I don't think we'll see him on the field. I think he may be there through the appeal, but I don't think we'll see him. Yeah. And all these people that are sending him, it's nasty. Yeah, nasty. It, it, you know, it's disgusting. His behavior is disgusting. Rasheed Rice, his, his yeah. behavior was disgusting. It's the perfect word. That... What's the difference? What's the difference in talking like this? Uh, where there was minor injuries with people stuck in their car versus someone crushed under another vehicle. There's the, the potential. He's lucky that that didn't happen, but the actions were the same. He's just fortunate for yeah. the outcome. I mean, it's pretty disgusting when people defend him, too, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, well, yeah, well, it's, you know, you try to disconnect it from the real world. What if that's, what if that's your family in those cars? Yeah, I'd love, I'd love, I mean, it's a great, great way to put it. What, what anybody defending him right now? What if that was yeah. your family member? Could have been. Give me a could break. Have been, should have been. You can't quantify it. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for answering the call. Yeah. Hey, you said and, Ma uh, Master from Master from Tennessee. Is that you said your name was? Master Nader Seven from Tennessee. Yeah. All right, yeah. Ma we'll call you Master. It's a little bit cleaner. Master. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let, later. <laughs> later, <laughs> Master. Right, later. See <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what some people just like to troll. Like let let them troll, guys. Let them troll. I'm not gonna even. I'm curious about his perspective. Well, I mean, he could call in if he wants to, but when people act like, when people act like I'm I'm better than than all you says Timothy. Timothy, you're you're watching my show. I'm not watching your show, Timothy. So I'm better than you all. Than all of you all. 
says Timothy. Then why are you watching? Where, you know, why are you watching my show? Are you just in here to what? Hear the sound of your voice? Good for you. I I, I manage 130 teams. People that are good at fantasy football don't need to come in and tell strangers they're good at fantasy football, Tim. Not to mention you came in here barking about what? Defending Rice? Like you're coming here, you see all you bums care more about fantasy than you do whatever. We're in here talking about how Rasheed Rice doesn't deserve to hit the field this year. And you come in, Tim. Like, Tim, as someone said in the chat, as we see all the time when people make comments like yours, read the room, bro. Read the read the room. Rice pretty much admitted to it all. Um, says o, O4C. I can hear him tell him to type louder, says Hoosiers. <laughs> we always get one or two. It's, it's There's always one or two people. One or two people. Uh, 651, caller, you're live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I was just fucking with you guys. Uh, uh, no, I... Not be in the NFL. You should kick all those bums out. I don't. I don't. I don't buy. I don't buy Timothy. I don't buy him. You can always tell when someone calls in. Um. Anyway, I appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for for being here. Um. We're live when when big news breaks. So just Rice probably only admitted because he got caught, says Matt. That's the other thing too, is he ran away. Everyone says, Oh, he finally admitted. He admitted. Well, after they started his attorney and everybody started to look into it, said, Look, they got video footage of every angle. Like you have to admit this. It's, you're guilty. So he admits it to do his best. He admits it to do his best job of cleaning up his big mess. Um, Tim, for president, oh, thank you. Like managing a bunch of, of teams proves anything. I got 130 teams. I got 130 teams. Hector, what's going on? Uh, Hollywood Brown to the moon, that's right. Got him. Hollywood Brown, moon season. Moon season. Kamara got caught on video and still hasn't admitted anything. Says Hoosiers. <laughs> uh, uh, if he stayed, it wouldn't have been as bad. He's done for. If he stayed, maybe he would have, you know, been shown to have alcohol in his system, though. That's the part that's like kind of, you know, he was partying. He was at a, a restaurant bar celebrating quote unquote and then drag racing home insane all right hey appreciate you guys all um we'll we'll be back live monday through friday live when big news breaks live every monday through friday 8 p.m. we'll see you guys at 8 p.m. which is not too long a little like an hour and 15 minutes from now <laughs>